guys and welcome back to another episode of Flip a Coin Productions. Today only one of us is going to be starting our day off with a little spice because I've been sick and considering we both stick our fingers in there and it comes close to our mouth, I don't want to even run the risk of I don't want to catch what he got because I'm trying to have a good senior year and you know it's moving by pretty slow so I just want, I don't want to be sick at any time. Alright, so what's the theme for this episode bruh? Spice. Spice? Yeah. We always start our day off with a little spice. And oh. so I decided to take that to another level. Another level? What do you mean another level? What have we got here? Well, <laughs> most of the stuff is from Sonic. We tried to go to Burger King and we we're going to just do a little thing at the end of the new, what are they called? Cheeto chick fries? Yeah. Um, but they didn't have that so we got two different things that they have which is the Bacon King and the Whopper Rito, which I find that really interesting. And then we have some drinks here. Um, All right, let's see. We got Bickford's Traditional Soda, and it's a sarsaparilla flavor. I don't know what sarsaparilla is, but I've heard it a lot in mainstream stuff. And they've been out since 1874 for the refined and genuine lovers of real Australian soda. So it's good. It's I like started, like I started to read this and it said Mr. Q and I was like, James Bond's gadget designer designed a soda. <laughs> um, but Mr. Q Cumber, which is kind of a weird yeah. name. Sparkling Cucumber Beverage. Which, cucumbers don't really have that much of a flavor to me. Basically you're just going to be drinking water with a bit of a pasty taste to it. But I, I do have my phone out for a reason. Um, we have a picture of the wings yes. so we remember exactly what they're called instead of looking it up online we went there while we were ordering and he took a picture of the menu I'm not ghetto this time he is <laughs> okay um, we have the garlic parmesan starting off with number one we have the mild side which is the garlic parmesan wings which is one of their new flavors because they've had a couple of these flavors. Their first, the first flavor is new, and the last two flavors are new. So I'm gonna let you get yours first, just for sanitary reasons. Yeah. You know, if you ever played like Papa's Wingeria, you've seen the garlic flavor pop up. I've always wanted to try it, but never really had the resources to. So this should be good. This is gonna be a long episode too, guys. Just letting you know so that. Just strap in and. Get some popcorn. Yeah. All right. That's not bad. I like that. I never thought Parmesan would be useful, you know, on chicken as far as a, as far as a glaze. It's working. I don't really taste garlic that much, though. So we have a little water here and a new upgrade that we have got for the show, which are called Mule, Moscow Mule Mugs, which are they're um, kind of a pub mug. I pub guess. mug. So would you? What would you? Will we, will we be drinking like warm beer in this? Um, no, I actually think they're specifically designed for a drink called a Moscow Mule. But let's yeah. move on. Okay. And again, this is the honey. Honey barbecue, barbecue flavor. We're moving up the list. Like and I'm gonna let you order. grab yours first, cause sanitary. Oh. Okay. The spice is going up on these two guys. By the way, as they move up. One ready? Go. Hmm. Nothing new. Honey barbecue flavor. Yeah. Tastes the same throughout. Right now he's opening the sarsaparilla flavored soda from Bigford's. It looks like it's going to be a cola, but then again, it looks like it's grape. Oh yeah, it looks like it is going to be a cola. Hmm. Very stereotypical sound of pouring there a second ago. Yeah, but when you look at it in the light, it has like a dark ruby flavor and it's even like bubbling up you can see the bubbles pop from the glass if you look it at it it looks like coca-cola almost it does it's just a little bit redder alright 
What is this drink? It kind of tastes like it has black licorice in it. Yes, yes it does, but I know a drink. <laughs> root beer, yes, root, root beer. beer? Mm -hmm. I, yeah, yeah, I can taste that, but it, it tastes like a root beer with black licorice. Which I'm not going to complain about. No, I like, I like root beer, I like black licorice. It's a good combination. Mm -hmm. Plus, they taste the same, too, so, well, just about the same. Nah, because there's a lot of people that don't like black licorice that would... Demolish root beer. Yeah. Alright, this is the Asian sweet chicken flavor. I, I don't know what makes it Asian, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe some spices they use? Maybe they use Asian spices. But why would they spices? specifically use Asian spices for this wing? I don't know. I'm because asking it's some Asian, questions. dude. Okay, okay, fine then. I, I maybe know. maybe it's not even Asian spices. Maybe the chicken came from Asia. Did you ever think about that? Are you trying to get on me right now? Mm. Is what you're trying to do? No, you're no, sick right no. now. You're at you're not at full capacity. I can kill you right now. Fair point. Fair point. Okay. Alright, let's try this. So odd shape. I mean it, it looks like orange chicken basically. It does it does have an orange chicken look to it. Okay. Called it. And you know what? It is orange chicken. Called it. This tastes mm -hmm. like running the meal Chinese buffet orange chicken. Orange chicken, yep. I called it. But you, know, you can get orange chicken from Sonic's now. See? It's not bad. Don't have to go to the Chinese buffet. Don't have to go to Peking. Don't have to go to China Star, Lucky Village. You can go to Panda Sonic's. Express. Yeah, you can go to Sonic's and get you some orange chicken. Okay. I mean, if that's what they were going for, they nailed it. They did. They really did. And next we have buffalo. And you know buffalo, it's it's not all, it's not really spicy, but you know, you just like that. None of that. these really have had spice to them, honestly. True. True. I'm not going to lie. But buffalo's always been known for that real rough pow in your face flavor. Yeah. It, it's all, it's also has, tends to have a vinegar which I, 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 I'm not going to lie, I, I'm starting to like all this vinegar pickled stuff that we've been trying to. We, we have another episode that I've thought about and I've given it some long and hard thought because I thought some of them will be really bad. But we're going to get a couple of jars of pickles and some different flavors of Kool-Aid and pickle lows. But it's, it's, some of them probably won't be good. But we're just going to see what works and mm. what doesn't. So this is the buffalo flavor, and this should taste like what we all think it's going to taste like. Buffalo? Yeah. If it doesn't, they get a point taken away from the fact that they had the orange chicken on point. So they the point that they just got is going to be taken away when we taste it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It, it, well, if it, if it doesn't taste like buffalo. Yeah. They got it all the way down to the consistency of what buffalo chicken is. It's got that like, it's not like a barbecue sauce thickness, but, but it's not really runny either. It's kind of like a creamy sauce, yeah. I guess. I mean, buffalo, you're supposed to enjoy it, not die from it. Yeah. All right. Mm. Right here we have hot honey. Weird name, or either they ran out of names for the chicken. I mean, has there any, other than jalapeno honey, which is pretty good, I've tried it, it's pretty good, um, is there any more like hot honey stuff, or is, is I'm sure there is, but, I mean, cause like, I just found out there's a pistachio butter, so you know, I, I want to know what else the world is I like. didn't know that they had pistachio butter. Pistachio butter is a thing. That's something that'll be coming up, have you tried it? Sadly, yes. Okay, well, is there something that I haven't tried? That he has, so we'll give that a try. We're also gonna try pickled pig's feet, which, which is weird because I live in the south. I've never tried, and he has. We're gonna try, give that a try. Love pickled pig's feet. Th right. Since this is a long episode, we're gonna kind of fill you in on some of the stuff we have in the future. Plan. Hot honey, hot honey. Hot hot honey. Hey baby, hot honey. No. I know what this tastes like. Remember your um, what was that hot sauce you brought on 
you had them two devils on there. Double bastard? Double bastard. That's what it tastes like. It's that sweet hot sauce. That's what it tastes like to me. Had a little bit more sweetness to it. True. Not not this, the double bastard. But it it, it, it kinda tastes like it. I don't yeah. fruity. Now this pine this pineapple habanero that's up next, it might taste more like it, because I remember the double bastard had a very strong pineapple flavor to it. Yeah, because huh? Habanero to me is like a fruit spice, a fruit chili, you know, like it, a fruity pepper. That, that's that's what it tastes like. I mean, it's spicy, but it's it's kind of clashing so, with sweet. None the, none of these things have really had spice to me, and usually when I'm sick, I don't handle spice as well, which that's kind of bad that these haven't been spicy and I'm sick. I mean, you could be dead. It could be a figment of your imagination as you're slowly dying. Oh, that's true. It could. Oh, well. At least I get to eat. <laughs> okay. I'll grab yours. All right. Good. Huh. This, this, this should be promising. Pineapple. Hopefully this will have a little bit heat of heat to it. But out of all fruits, pineapple. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, like, why is and why did you do it. I'm talking about, like, Oh, okay. All right, you ready? Okay. Well, they didn't taste no different from the last flavor. They didn't. It had a little bit more heat to it, though. Maybe it that's did. just because I'm sick and that hit me a little bit more. Just a tiny bit more. I mean, did they think we weren't supposed to just take it? I guess. Okay. This is so, a, this, all this heat's gonna be really bad on my sinuses too, since I've been drinking in a while. Well, at least it's gonna clear you out. That's true. All right. So, what do you want to start off with? We have. Are we gonna continue moving from Sonic to? Okay, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep doing Sonic then. Right now we have. Mind doing that? Is this twist off? Yeah, it's twist off. The fiery chicken. But before we do this, we are going to try the Mr. Cucumber soda. Yeah, I'm gonna nice job out of that. I'm always pouring yours first with this. I don't want the glass touching. I feel like this is gonna taste like club soda and glue, or something in that nature. Because you know, cucumber has really has Club soda made. and glue. Yeah, because you know, just regular carbonated water tastes funny. And then you're adding like a pasty taste to it as well. Did you eat glue as a child? Dude? Yes, yes I did. I ate glue. I ate paper. You ate paper? I ate paper. Was was like arts and crafts your lunch time? I was starving. My mom used this great detergent to her. It had me he chewing made on my he, Instead of peanut butter and jelly, he made paper and glue sandwiches. Yeah. They might have had to hold me down did and stare so, my mouth. Sometimes you put like pencil shavings in there. No, because I choked on them last time. I'm <laughs> not going to do that. It was like taking the cinnamon challenge before the cinnamon challenge was even, like, popular. Because it got stuck in my throat. But I was dumb as a kid. I'm better now. I have, like, a 3.5 average. <laughs> 3.5. That's from all the knowledge you ingested. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, let's go. They added sugar to this. Oh! Mm. I like it. I like it. This is three for three. I like. I like something that he doesn't like. They. Oh. It's like how. It's is like. It, is it bad to me though? Is it just different or is it bad? Is it's the water with cucumbers that have soaked in sugar for a good bit, and then they soaked in the water. That's what it tastes like. Now that I'm actually. Now that I'm actually after the first hit of. of Weirdness, it's not that bad, but it's not something I would buy again. I would buy this just to be like, I mean, I can easily get well. I mean, I want to be different, you know, like them random people that walk around drinking Fiji water. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be like, I'm drinking cucumber soda. Um, I yeah. easily got through that as opposed to that chia, yeah, that pulp stuff. No, it was chia seeds, bro. Hope, whatever. That that it gets no name. California purists would get so mad at you. They can't touch me. I'm in Louisiana. We love guns down here. Yeah. No, no, no. No. 
All right. So let's just start on this fiery chicken flavor. Um. Oh God, there's a lot of jalapenos on here. Uh, I, I love like, jalapenos. Well, like I just said, what I'm saying, I don't handle heat as well. It's a big piece of chicken too. They really, they're they're not false advertising. They're giving you what you ask for. Okay, let's get let's go ahead and do this again. Chicken's bland, but the cheese and the jalapenos make up for it. What cheese is this? You know? Is it pepper is jack it or something? Pepper jack. I was worried about the huge light, like layer of jalapenos on here for a moment. Well, like, usually I wouldn't, but they're dry, so it doesn't even really matter. Like, it, I guess it, they served them dry or something. It's not like the jalapenos that you have sitting in the jalapeno juice. Well, I mean, you got to make it for the... This is a, this is a restaurant. You got to make it so everybody can get it. You can't... You know, the people with heart problems and stuff that they still want to taste jalapenos and stuff and give them that. That's true. But I like it. I mean... I like it, and it's definitely... I mean, it does have some heat to it because it's opening up my sinuses, but... And so I'm not have to pour that on nothing, one hot sauce or nothing something Nothing like I can't handle, even while I'm sick. I like it. I do. All right. Up next, we have the fiery hamburger. And I'm, I, I'm, I can honestly say that this probably won't be anything new to me because when I used to live in California, I used to be next to Carl's Jr. and they came out with a jalapeno burger like a long time ago. Mm -hmm. So this might not be anything new. I tried that um, one time when I was up there uh, visiting my aunt. Mm -hmm. I tried it. It wasn't that hot though. It wasn't. Alright, so let's, let's try it and see. Oh, oh. You get you now? Mm -hmm. Oh. Great. Um, I guess my side of the burger was just dry. No, I mean dry. the chicken made it dry for me. Oh god. Ready? Yeah. Oh, there's a good bit of tomato on here too. Mm. So I guess the tomato was supposed to be your safety mechanism. It feels too hot for you. Because really there's no difference. I mean, I like it. it tastes good. I mean, is it, was there cheese on here? Was there cheese on here? It tastes like there isn't any cheese on here. I don't know. Yeah, I see some cheese there. Oh, it's cheese? Oh, okay. Well. No. Personally, I'm a burger man over a chicken, like, sandwich man. Do you like the burger or the chicken sandwich better? Because I like the burger better. I like the chicken sandwich because they gave me more meat. But I mean, like, I'm like that one alien from Lilo and Stitch that was on the series that just kept making sandwiches throughout the series. So, really, all sandwiches are good with me. 628? Yeah, him. He made some bomb sandwiches, too. He had me hungry every episode. Alright. He's supposed to be like Stitch's equivalent, right? But he just like loves sandwiches so much. He, mm -hmm. he got fat. Alright, so this is the Bacon King. This is like a new burger. New burger out for Burger King. Basically it looks to me like they just took a Whopper and threw some... Um, but I like that they added like well, extra stuff. It's not... Well, he made a good point. It's not a Whopper because Whopper is bigger. Yeah. But I don't know. It just they're I mean, trying to they're trying to fight the baconator and it's not working. I love the actually baconator. no. You know what? I take that back. I haven't tried it. I can't say it's not working until I've tried it. One day get you a triple baconator. Then one day you go back and get you the day special burger, the highest form of it you can. Then you rate on that. Love that. Okay. But, so, but looking at this, it doesn't compare. I mean, but I love the, how they did the extra condiments and stuff on here because oh, yeah. I'll, I'll go back and order extra mayonnaise, especially when I'm having bacon or something like that. Mm-hmm. Burger King does seem to put a lot. let's go for this. Mmm. That tastes good. Plus, I'm bacon man myself. Any bacon you throw at me, I'm eating it. I don't think it's as good as the Baconator, 
Mm -hmm. But it's 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 close. They're clawing they're clawing up there. They if are. they just if they did a little bit more to this burger, they might be able to. Nah, because bacon there is like this and. Bird, well, bacon well, I'm just, I'm if the, I mean I'm just saying if they did a little bit more and maybe up the portions. But yeah. I'm sure you could get a bigger version than this. Probably. Um, just like you can get a bigger version of bacon, because the regular bacon egg is about like that. And then the triple was like that. Oh, I love the triple. I get extra everything on that. Uh. Mmm. That's good. I mean, if I was to do a blind taste test, if you notice, Burger King has like this aftertaste in their patty to where you know it's a Burger King patty. It tastes like it has some smoke in there. Yeah. It tastes like it's smoke. Flame broiled. Flame broiled. Okay. So that's that's that aftertaste that, you know, people don't really notice it, but you know you're eating something from Burger King, not McDonald's, not Wendy's, but Burger King. Yeah, it definitely has that different taste. Mm -hmm. hmm. All right. My girlfriend is going to hate me for this, but wow. I had to try it. It's the Whopperito. Mm. I mean, it, it's not, it didn't just recently come it out, but like, it kind of uh, came out. It, it looks good to me. I like it. I guess one of the Bob, sandwiches. take a look. Okay, yours looks good, right? Yeah. Take a look at my cut. It looks like fucking Taco Bell threw up Burger King. What's your trade, then? No, 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 no. I'm good. I mean, it's still going to taste the same, but I mean, look at this. Okay, come on. I'm, I'm not gonna touch the man, but. Okay. Ugh. Okay, I'm trying to find. Okay, you guys, you can't really see that very well, but you see how his is like a decent cut? You know? This is mine. Mine looks like. No, it's not the lighting, it's just that it's in a ball. Mine looks like Taco Bell threw up burger. I mean, isn't that supposed to be the point? I mean, look, Burger King's trying to fight everybody at this point. They're Nazi Germany. They're fighting wars on every front. They're fighting the Baconator. They're fighting Burger King's burritos. They're fighting Taco Bell's burritos. That correction. <sighs> but I made a mistake. nobody beats Del Taco. Tex Mex. <clears throat> Just had to rep that. Uh, but I want to go on and crack into this. I want to see how this tastes, actually. Uh okay. It's not it's not bad because I know it's just that it's just a different cut. It just look just looks weird. Well, they added some stuff to it, like this this taco sauce too. But let's go. Let's, it's odd holding it. Let's make. Oh god, this is a big. Oh, wow. Look at oily, that. bro. I mean, Mexican food is oily. I mean, I love Mexican. I'm food. just gonna take one bite of this. Cause I'm gonna eat this. Okay, you do that. Mm. Taco Bell and Burger King had a baby. Basically. I changed my mind. Hypocrite. Mmm. Mmm, good. This is good. Okay, I'm eating mine. I'm not making out with it, bro. Get your life together. I have a girlfriend, but this is my mistress. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna be happy about it. I know you why she didn't want me to try it now. <laughs> <laughs> she mad about you cheating on her with a burger? I mean, it's in my stomach. It's not gonna have a baby or anything. Mm. We're gonna have a food baby. Food baby. <laughs> mm. They're gonna arrest me for cannibalism now. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is good. That's not what a food baby is, dude. You know what you just said? Nope. You said you're gonna eat your own crap, bro. <laughs> Just, just whomp it all in your mouth at once. The flavor is great. Just do that. My, my, my mouth ain't that big, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, I got. I, I'm one of them big mouth people who smiles like Joker. Biologically. Uh, that's why I don't smile with my teeth. You be looking like a great white over there, ah. Bruh. You should have seen the way. Let me tell you about a time my mom took me to IHOP. No, I told you I was fat as a kid. I was eating my chicken strips so fast that a disoriented, handicapped man who had his wife feeding him, he stopped 
his wife from feeding him the look at me eat. I was mm, mm, mm. And she was trying to put food in his mouth. He said, no. He was trying, he was staring real hard at me. I didn't care. My mom took me to IHOP that day. I was too happy. Then I made an F on my test the next day. I was too happy. That's the way to end this story. Yeah. But honestly, I can say this was a great, great episode. I loved it. I mean, wasn't nothing hot, 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 hot. Quick, but quick, quick um, writing. Wings. Sonic's Wings. I give them a five. It, maybe six. It's just something... You know, you want wings, but you don't want to go spend a lot of money on. I want seven. I'm, I'm giving them like a. I'm giving seven? them a benefit of doubt. I'm giving them seven point three. I like it. I like it because um, you know, you might get fruit fruit portions of the meat, but the flavor is great. The flavor's so good. That's why I'm giving it like a six because it's not Ugh. great. It's not great portions. It's not the best flavors, but it's wings. It's something to eat if you want it. Well, be happy. You buy one, you get one free. Next time, fiery family. Fiery family. Yeah. Uh, oh, the chicken. I mean, the fiery hamburger and the fiery yeah, chicken. Yeah. The fiery family. Um. I, I give the the chicken the six that you gave that. The chicken. I give it six because it was pretty dry. It was a lot of it meat, was but it's dry, pretty dry. But I, I got I got my money's worth for the meat. Now the burger, I said I liked it better, which I did. But I'm still giving it a six because it was less meat, even though it was more juicy. Yeah. Um. Mm. The drinks? More than the drinks? What do you wanna? The drinks. We kind of reviewed those. Yeah. I mean, we don't really have to rate those. Um. I personally, the burger was better for me in the Fire Family. Your opinion? The chicken. I love the chicken. Okay. Whopperito versus bacon and king. Of course, the Whopperito. That the was, was that good. was great. That was was food I give it, I give it to it because I I, I I said I wasn't gonna eat the whole thing because it was really oily. It looked weird, and then I, I bit into it and I was like, I loved it. This is good. That was that was that wasn't true love because it was an inanimate object. So we're gonna end this with uh, some pretty good peppermint. They have high quality peppermint for freaking Sonic. I mean, they have peppermints for everybody because most people don't really like the hard peppermints and Sonic gives you them like powdery, easy to break peppermints. And these are like a mix between a hard and a soft peppermint. Like the outside is soft, but like the center has like a hardness to it. Oh man, oh great. It's a good episode to me. Okay, be you every single day, every single way. Bye guys.